Your answer is to cut both taxes and spending. You say that you would eliminate the IRS, the CIA, the Federal Reserve, <laughs> the Department of Homeland Security, <laughs> Medicare. Uh, I know that you used to want to end the FBI. I'm not sure whether you still support that idea, sir. Perhaps you can tell us. But if you get rid of the CIA, let alone the FBI, how would President Paul have any idea, any intelligence of what our enemies foreign and domestic are up to? Well, you might ask a better question. Uh, before 9-11, we were spending $40 billion a year, and the FBI was producing numerous information about people being trained on airplanes to fly them but not land them, and they totally ignored them. So it's the inefficiency of the bureaucracy that is the problem. So increasing this with the Department of Homeland Security and spending more money doesn't solve the problem. Yes, we have every right in the world to know something about intelligence gathering, but we have to have intelligent people interpreting this uh, information. But, you know, just going uh, for increasing presidential powers, as has been, been discussed, is rather disturbing to me. This whole idea that we're supposed to sacrifice liberty for security, we were advised against that. Don't we remember that when you sacrifice liberty for security, you lose both? That's what's happening in this country today. We have, we have a national ID card on our doorsteps. It's being implemented right now. We have FISA courts. We have warrantless searches, we've lost habeas corpus, we've had secret prisons around the world, and we have torture going on. That's un-American, and we need to use the power of the presidency to get it back in order, in order to take Thank care you. of us and protect this country. But here in America, where there's supposed to be free choice, there's less choice. If, if Americans ever come to the conclusion that there's not much difference between Republican and Democrats, and they never include alternative choices in the coverage, the Americans really are, aren't exposed to a true choice, so we really have to fight. And of course, many of us have uh, come over the years to believe that the other two parties uh, no longer stands for the Constitution and liberty, and that there's no difference between the two. I mean, whether you have Republicans or Democrats in office, government gets bigger, taxes go up, the deficit gets worse. We can elect even a man like Ronald Reagan, and the deficit's got a lot worse. So we don't see any difference. I think that all government is a waste of taxpayer money.